hi everyone it's charlotte here today and i'm doing the long waited video of bonding the girls with finley our new edition so this is a sunday so we got him yesterday now i was going to wait a few days because um i thought i'd just let him settle settle in but he settled in like really like quite immediately and he is running around coming up to me he is biting the bars to get into the girls so I think that kind of tells me that he's ready to meet them properly so he's been meeting them throughout the bars um, between their cages but this is obviously the main bonding bit which is where they are in a neutral territory which neither pair or neither group have been in before and they have all newly washed fleece and they have some hay piles now i've done this i'm not really sure how big this is i think it's probably about um probably about a two by ten in total this size but i'm going to keep this in them in this for probably a good few days i'll probably probably leave them in this to be honest because at the moment we're all up in the air with the new cage and making it so just be easy i keep moving them around the house but this is in the technically the same room it's in the upstairs lounge so it's still easy access for me as well but i put them in here because i think this is a good area for them to start off with and they are going to have see three different hay piles if i'm sure that will be enough for them to run around and sort everything out and then I've just got a microfiber rug and just yeah please so at the moment it's open because I'm sitting beside her so I want to leave it slightly open so I'm able to get in there if necessary now what you need for when you're bonding guinea pigs is to have obviously a neutral area like I've mentioned you also want to make sure you've got nothing in the cage other than either hay or um just nothing at all um you could start with veggies but i prefer to start that afterwards and um when i think it's going all right i will introduce veggies because i have got their veggies just right beside me at the moment actually which i will spread out between the cage so there's no fighting or anything over that but um they will have no Heidi's in here until i feel that that is time and obviously that will be after a good few hours because you want to do bonding for a good few hours and hopefully nothing happens within that. Now if something does that is starts leading to bleeding, you need to remove that guinea pig and um, you need to separate them. So the warning signs, I mean there's a lot of behaviours and I'll probably put them on the screen as well, but there's also a good website that I've been referring to and I did refer to when I introduced Daphne to Clara and Arabella. So I will link that down below. But there's a lot of behaviours that... Um, you will notice and that are completely normal so um some of them will be mounting weaking loudly squealing they can be like nips but as long as it's not blood then that's absolutely fine um occasional chatter of the teeth chasing charging around the cage and usually the one that is being chased has a bit of a squeal to it so all of those are pretty normal for bonding guinea pigs and you don't want to remove them from each other, constant chattering of teeth, raised hair, constant hard nips causing the submissive guinea pig to cry out. These are just some of the things from this website which I will link again as I mentioned, stamping their feet from side to side to making them rock, flying at each other and that's when they're like lunging and probably have gone into attack mode. So when you are putting your guinea pigs together you want to have a big towel that you can easily throw over them because guinea pigs will not hesitate to bite you and it will seriously hurt when they're in that attitude and they really want to hurt another guinea pig so you need to make sure you put a throw a towel over them but it's generally light but not too light <laughs> you're all weeping aren't you you have to wait you will get your veggies you're gonna meet each other properly anyway <laughs> Um, you want to make sure you have a towel so you can throw it over them to kind of just dis disorientate them and then you can grab one of them and get them out. So that's there but you want to just be really really careful when you're doing this. The way I like to do it, <laughs> you're making it hard. <laughs> the way I like to do it for um, when I first introduce a new guinea pig to a group, 
what I did with Daphne, who's Daphne is the one that's starting this weekend off, and you hear Binley rumbling. What I like to do is to put the new guinea pig in first, and then very quickly afterwards, I will put one of the other guinea pigs, generally like a less dominant or a medium dominant, and then leave the last last so that they're like used to the group and that if you put a whole group in first and then you start off with one alone that group can tend to feel very protective over the area and think it's their patch already so that's not what you want you want to slowly kind of introduce them one by one to the newbie and that's what I'm going to be doing with Finley so I will uh, film some of it I probably won't film all of it because it will be like a good few hours worth and that's why I've got my iPad here because I wanted to make sure <laughs> can you calm down I'm so excited with the veggies and uh, anyway it's making it very hard for me to film so I hope you're hearing me all right but uh, I'm going to begin go dad putting you in next Okay, so far so good. I'm out of breath <laughs> trying to catch him in the cage. Um, he's rumbling around, which is completely normal, and that is normal thing. Bum sniffing is. There's lots of things that are completely normal, and the behaviour right now is nothing to worry about. So, it is very good signs at the moment. So they're just walking around, exploring, getting to know their surroundings, and there's been nothing so far other than rumbling from Finley and he's the only one that's rumbling at the moment. Now the next stage if you notice is well he's trying to mount Arabella over there in the far corner that's completely normal again and then what I mentioned earlier is like the occasional chatter of teeth, chasing, charging around the cage, weaking loudly um, and nipping can be either gentle or serious but they seem to be all right at the moment. I think Daphne's trying it on there a bit. <laughs> Me. But he, he's, he's, he's wandering around. Daphne always tries to escape. So you'll see her here. Trying to get out of that corner. Yeah. Are you good? <laughs> I think that she can smell the veggies. I don't know if you're looking. There's Daph looking up there. I know. You can smell them, can't you? Yes, you'll get them in a bit. We'll see how you are. Yeah. They're good girls and boys. Hey. Keep calling them the girls oh, still. <laughs> you are a sweetheart, Dad. You are a sweetheart. You will get them, don't worry. Okay, I'm going to get up and give them to them. I'm just going to sprinkle them around the cage a bit.
Now I did mention this briefly in a importance of multiple guinea pigs video, I did that a while ago, but the best pairs for pairing up guinea pigs is either a sow to another sow. They can be sometimes tricky, it depends if you're getting an adult or a baby. Babies tend to be the easiest to bond with other babies but also adults. Another pair that's really good is a female to a neutered male or a neutered female to a male. So generally they get on really well. The hardest pairs to do are two adult boy piggies and also sometimes they stay hard maintaining as well, two boy piggies stay hard maintaining. But you can see there's some more dominance behaviour here. A lot of squeaking going on which is completely normal again there's no lunging or fighting or anything there's some nipping just to tell each other off well i think mainly finley off you can't come out here eh? you can't um but he seems to be very very happy you can see look at him popcorning leonardo he's so a leonardo dicaprio with that hair should have called him leonardo to be honest Mm. <laughs> it's like a little wig running around. Yeah. And Daphne's trying to. Daphne is surprisingly, it can be surprisingly dominant and you wouldn't think it. She's just sniffing his bum. Hmm. Oh, look at them. She's like, no, I'm not sharing, mate. That's my bit, my bit of lettuce. Have another bit. There we go. He keeps rumbling, which is probably winding Daphne up more, I would imagine.
Hi everyone, it's Charlotte here again. I'm just updating at the last part of this video really. I think it's probably going to be the last part of the bonding video. Yesterday is when we tried the first bonding session and that was the clips you would have seen just before. So you could see it was getting a bit heated. Now I was reading on the web websites making sure that the lunging that Daphne was doing wasn't intent, intent for harm and he wasn't bleeding or anything but it got to the stage where they were just like virtually constantly teeth chattering so I removed Finley he is very nervous with them and I think this is the main issue I've actually had my friend Amy around today and she is from Amy Pigs and I will leave the link to her YouTube channel in below she's really really good she has great care videos and she has a lovely setup for her pigs um, but she came round today because I've moved locally to her she came round to help reassure me with it and make sure that everything that they were doing was completely normal so I'm no expert bonding the only bonding I've ever done before was between Daphne and the existing duo of girls and she was six weeks old now I think the problem is with Finley is he hasn't been with other guinea pigs for a while and so he is quite nervous around them and he is rumbling a lot and you can see that I think it's quite it's more of a scared rumble in the fact that he's trying to act confident but he's not really so Daph keeps trying to um, you can still hear teeth chattering going on and everything and Daph just kind of like had a little peck at him there but the whole thing is generally calm I'm going to give them a few days and give them Obviously bonding can take a couple of weeks to settle down at least so it all depends on your guinea pig but Daphne has been a little bit more relaxed this session than she was yesterday. Yesterday it just seemed to be building up and building up that it was getting worse. Now I actually spoke to Katie as well from Guinea Pig Weekly and Amy last night and they both said that well Katie firstly put it into my head that maybe Daphne's in season and the last time that I saw Daphne in season which was just before we moved which would be about two weeks ago is perfect timing for her to be back in season and may well be why she's acting more grumpy so she can generally be a big rumbler in the cage regardless like just with the girls so she is she has got a bit of attitude and it's quite surprising I think to some people I think Amy I think um, Katie didn't really expect it either but so far so good they've been in this cage since hmm what's the time now they've been in it since about maybe quarter to 12 or half 12 and it's now quarter past four so it's been a good like few hours and i think the problem is is that finley is very nervous and he keeps running away which is aggravating daphne and he keeps rumbling whenever he's near her so it's just aggravating each other but I think after a while they will get used to it Amy said all of the behaviour that you're seeing right now with the rumbling and the teeth chattering and the lunging is completely normal in a lot of her bondings and they've all been successful so that is always a good thing and that's why I really appreciated her offer to come round and reassure me so we've had a really lovely afternoon and she was just like talk we were just talking getting to know each other more we have spoke online but it was really lovely to see her in person and get to know her a bit better but she also gave us some lovely treats you can see that big willow ball there that Arabella was just chewing on she gave us that which was so kind of her she also gave us a few other goodies now I'm gonna show you she also gave us this really cute little ice cream toy and she gave us this floral feast woodlands which is really really nice we've not actually tried this but they do like florally stuff this should be a hit and I've also just given them all some of this which is the dandelion feast from pets at home and it's just a nice big forage and that was really really kind of her to think of pigs and bring some good generally it's going well and I'm happy that Amy is also happy and she thinks that it's complete normal and that he is just kind of irritating her at the moment he's trying to work out his pecking order but also that he hasn't been around guinea pigs so he's a bit nervous plus he's only about eight months old so he's still quite lively and energetic so he may be irritating her in that way but normally if they really don't like each other she would be always after him or always going up to him and like in a ball of fur basically but she's not doing that she is staying away she's lying next to him as well 
and she's eating the hay and everything. So Daphne is the only issue. Arabella's kind of told her off a few times in this bonding session today, which I think has also helped um, Daphne come down a peg or two. But um, it's really good so far. Like it's not the perfect bonding, but I think this is probably more realistic to how bondings can go, especially with adult guinea pigs. So I'm just happy that relatively it's gone nicely you can see there look he got very spooked and he just ran and then teeth chattered he's a little bit nervous with the girls and he will in time become used to that but I've just got t like tunnels that they flatten there um I've got a tunnel there I, but we've also got that wooden hidey just to the back there which has like it's just basically all open so there's lots of room for them to get out got a few toys in there some obviously hay piles which have merged into other ones we've also got water bottles and you'll see a little fluff ball little Daphne the little diva down here um but that's that so I'm going to leave this them in this um for all of the time until we get the new cage until we make that the wood arrived for that today so that's good that's definitely a start so but they've got everything else they need they've got a nice big space to run around and get away from each other if needed and lots of hay to eat and some forage but anyway I'm going to leave them to it and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you it sh showed you and gave you some advice if you are bonding your guinea pigs I am nowhere near perfect and I am a big warrior so I find it really hard to do things like this and I don't think out of choice that I would get a fifth pig again because I don't think I could do this I also spoke to Amy that she said that four is a really good number. I'm really, really happy. So I'm happy that they're actually getting along. Obviously, there's a few tiffs and a bit of dominance issues. But overall, they're being all right. So there you go. You can see Finley and Arabella there. But she's she's showing some dominance with them as well. But they're okay. So I'm going to leave them to it. But he's he is backing down. But... So that is a good thing that hopefully he will, you can't see in there, but he will give in. But it's generally been calm before, so I'm happy to leave them alone. And um, that's that. So thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to my next one. Bye!